Hi, I'm Stephen Orr, and today we're talking about plants that actually like to be hot. A lot of the summer, our garden's going to decline as it gets really hot, but these plants really know how to take the heat, and they actually like it. Some of them are flowers, like this beautiful mandevilla vine, um, these beautiful ageratums, or this beautiful scavola, and then others are grown because they have these great leaves that bring color to the planter um, even when they're not in bloom. This is called a Persian shield or a strobilanthes plant. It's a beautiful dark purple. Um, coleus is always a big favorite. And then also a trailing vine like this um, licorice plant. Um, all of these plants do great in containers. You wanna pick a container that is not too small. This is about the smallest I would ever use um, because the smaller the container, the more it will dry out. Pick something this size or larger, and you can even go up to a really large size, which would make um, watering much less, especially if you're going away for the weekend. The way that we normally like to do a planter is to combine different colors, obviously, but also different heights. So I'm gonna use this, this is a, a strobilanthes. As I said, it's pretty large for this little pot, but um, what I'm gonna do is make this my main subject. And I already have some soil in the pot, and then I'm gonna put in some color because this plant is so dark, you want to make um, a contrast with a plant like this scavola. Scavolas came out, you know, a few decades ago, um, and you didn't see them much before that, but now they're almost as common as petunias. And then you could add one other beautiful flower, like maybe this ageratum. And there's several different kinds of ageratums. They're an old-fashioned annual. Um, and one of the things that uh, these are shorter. There's a tall variety called Blue Horizon that's really great because it gets about a foot taller than these guys. So I'm just gonna put this here. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is add um, what some people call a spiller, which is something that comes off the edge. Um, this one really loves the heat. As long as you keep it watered, it's gonna keep growing. You might even have to pinch it back a little bit. When you're taking care of these pots, really the main thing you have to do is just make sure that you're watering them regularly. Sometimes that's every day, or it might be every other day. Uh, as I said, a larger pot is great. If you think you're going to be going away on vacation, make sure you use a larger pot because it could take two or three days for it to dry out. But if it's in full sun, um, check your plants every day. Go in and put your finger into the pot, and if it's dry, water. Um, if it's not, you can probably wait a day. And be aware that when you have plants in pots, if it's raining, most of the water will hit the leaves and fall off the pot and not get into the pot. So don't trust that water from rain is actually getting into the pots. You should maybe do it yourself with a hose. Finally, the last thing you might need to think about with some of these is that they do actually need some deadheading, like these sun patients. These are impatiens that are good for the sun. You can see when it's an older flower and snip off any blooms when you're having your coffee in the morning and get rid of anything that's going to seed because the more you keep cutting them, the more they'll bloom. Once you have your plants all potted, make sure you keep them watered, a little bit of deadheading, and then you're gonna have beautiful blooms and color all the way till frost.